what do you do when you have kind of a boring week with not a lot going on? You make sure that you have plenty of stickers to spice up your planner. Welcome to Runs on Espresso, where we combine planning and creativity to get things done. Today we are going to be planning the week of July 10th in my Erin Condren Compact Vertical. Now if you watched last week's, I will link to it somewhere at the top of the screen, you'll know that this is only my third week in the Compact Vertical and I'm still trying to figure it out, but we'll figure it out together. Besides our planner and stickers, what else do we need? I've always got some whiteout tape just in case. I've got tweezers to help with the stickers. My trusty handy dandy pen. And a washi card to cut the washi strips. And I brought with me my previous weeks to kind of show you what I've done and what maybe I want to do a little bit better. Let me take this stuff out of the way first. This was my very first week in the compact vertical. It's chaotic and I used a Chrissy Ann Designs celebration kit. I didn't use all of it. I probably have enough stickers to do at least another week. And if we look at last week, it's still a little chaotic, but not quite like the week before. I used a Sweet Bean Plans with this one, and again, I probably have enough of those stickers to do another week or a partial week. What have I learned over these last two weeks? Well, from my first week, I learned that I don't like my workouts down at the bottom, so in my second week, I moved them back up to the top of the day, and I have my husband's schedule on individual days. This week I used a Monday through Sunday sticker here, mostly used for workouts, meal planning, whatever, to write down his schedule. So I have that all in one spot. And I've been using this Erin Condren washi checkoff tape. One, because I have it, and two, I like to actually check things off but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it going forward. I know I probably should because I have three rolls of it, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments, should I keep using this washi checkoff tape? And let's get started on the week of the 10th. One thing I like to do before I get started with my week is look over these stickers I have, especially if I haven't used this specific kit before or sticker shop or whatever, just to kind of get an idea of what I have. Looking at stickers, we of course have our numbers and the little freebie with the little icons. Of course, I won't use all of these, but I could use quite a few of these and this was the other freebie with the kit. So I have one deco and then five little, I don't know, they look like little swipes of paint to me. And then I got this, which is the sidebar, because previously I had the daily duo, and so that week before, or the, the page before the week, the blank page, I would use these to put in like meals, workouts, whatever. So I probably won't use all of these in the compact vertical. And then I have thin washi strips and we have the sheet with the days of the week, quarter boxes, half boxes, we got a little bit wider and thinner washi. And again, I ordered this when I had the Daily Duo, thinking I was gonna do the Daily Duo again, and I didn't. So I have a lot of decorative boxes, 
Got a few more of those little quarter boxes across the top. <laughs> and another sheet. This one has the Hello Weekend on it. And then I went ahead and got the sampler. So it has a lot of different things on it. We have washi. We got some words over here, some more icons, boxes, different types of boxes, and flags. The easiest place for me to start with the compact vertical is going to be with the washi strips and the date covers. And one thing that I like to do with the date covers, if you watched last week, is put the numbers on here before I transfer them over here. Because I have done that in the past where I have covered up the day with the sticker, Monday, and, you know, went through and did all of the days of the week and did not put the numbers in. And then I had to go double check on a calendar, my phone, whatever, to make sure that I did the dates correctly. I used to save these leftover sheets and try to reuse the numbers, but I found that's more of a hassle, so now I just get rid of these. And we're going to take our first sheet, and we're going to take a look at all of our washi options. Because I like to kind of mix it up on what I'm doing. So we have thin and we have thicker ones, and we have lots of different patterns. I think these two are my favorite, so I'm going to start with those. And now I have a decision to make. Do I use the same washi over here, maybe flip it and do the thin one up here and the thicker one down there? Or do I use some different options? I think I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it and make this the thicker and that the thin, but I'm gonna use this for the thick washi and then this one here for the thin. There we have that set up, but I think I'm gonna take these really thin green ones and run them along the bottom. I think that just gives it a nice little finishing touch at the bottom there. And I still have some washi left over. The very first thing that I like to put in for the week is workouts. And I'm going to use the pretty decorative boxes for my workouts. I don't have my full workout schedule yet. I have an idea of what it will be, so I'm gonna go ahead and put down the stickers for the workout. Those five are for my running, and I will also have three days of weight training. I used a little bit different of a sticker for weights, so I can kind of, at a quick glance, tell the difference. So there's a little close-up of Wednesday. I am still trying to decide if my boxes should be centered or if they should be over on the side like I did here. I kind of prefer them lined up to the day of the week, I think. But then that looks weird, that, I don't know. I'm still, still working on it. Work in progress. 
Next up, I'm going to put in the work at office or work from home. And because there's five days of the week, I'm just gonna use these five stickers here. I went ahead and started writing some of the stuff in so I don't forget. Before I get too deep, I'm gonna put in my Hello Weekend sticker. And looking at our little words here, there are some that I will use and some that I will probably never use. I'm going to use these little dots for little to-dos on my weekday instead of those checkbox washies this week. I do like to put my work meetings on my calendar. Sometimes I forget I have work meetings, so if I look at my planner in the morning, like I do every day, I go, oh yes, I have this meeting. Real life here. Sometimes I mess up writing in my planner. I don't know why I wanted to write an X there for Green Chef instead of an F. I just like to note when my subscriptions are expected to go through so I can double check my credit card, make sure that everything went through, everything's working okay, all that fun stuff. You know, make sure I wasn't overcharged for some strange reason or whatever. And now we will move on to Thursday of the week. Moving over to Friday, I've already got laundry on there. That is the one thing I have to do on Friday. Fast forward to Saturday, I have two items to put on there. And that is Saturday. Sunday, I have a couple of to-dos. And I have one more thing to put on Sunday. I'm just not sure how I'm going to put that on there just yet. Just a couple of things for one of the Patreons that I support. Now I'm looking at this, I'm not sure I have much room for any other decoration. Uh, there, oh, I do need to add one more thing. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet. Let me, where is he? Since this is the only sticker on this sheet, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one up so that I'm done with that sheet. This one, I haven't used a single thing on here, so I'm gonna hold on to this sheet. I can use that in my journal, maybe my bullet journal, maybe a future spread. I'm gonna see what I have on here. Not sure how I feel about that yet. And I'm gonna do the sun, sand, and a drink in my hand down here at the bottom. I think what I'll do for that one other thing that I need to add on here is maybe put it on, it has to be done by Saturday. So I think I will put it on Friday as a to-do. All right, here is my week for July 10th. I will go back in and fill out my running workouts once I know what they are. I kind of like how I used the little dots instead of this washi. Maybe this washi just isn't for me. 
I like this sticker and this sticker's placement. I'm not really feeling this one. But I'm gonna leave it there. Maybe it will grow on me. Just like I'm hoping the compact vertical grows on me. Like the Daily Duo was too much room for a day. Compact vertical isn't quite enough room for me. I don't know what I need. Maybe I need to go back to the seven by nine vertical. But I really like the rings. Such a conundrum to have. Let me know in the comments what planner you use and how long should I stick with this compact vertical and hope that it grows on me because I'm about ready to order another planner. Let me know what planner you're using, what your favorite parts of it are, what maybe you don't like about it in the comments. And until next time, I hope your coffee is strong enough to get everything done. <laughs>